Welcome in, welcome in, welcome back to the Crypto Bully Bay channel where there's only fun decoding and no financial advice. And as you listen to this gentleman, this gentleman pretty much tells you that we are the universe. The universe is us and we are the universe. Okay? This is very important to understand this. We are the universe. You are the universe. I am the universe. The Big Bang Theory. The universe is everything. From the tiniest particles, to the largest galaxies, to the very existence of space, time, and life. But how did it all begin? You know what she said? The universe is everything. Right from the beginning, the universe is everything. Meaning the universe is us. And can that mean if the universe is everything and the universe is us and we are the universe, can that mean, can there be a possibility that the universe is everything can fall under the universe is also crypto? She says the universe is everything. It's us. We are the universe. Again, do you believe that the universe can be crypto also? Events that helped shape the universe. First came the radiation era, named for the dominance of radiation right after the Big Bang. This era is made of smaller stages called epochs that occurred within the universe's first tens of thousands of years. The earliest is the Planck epoch. No matter existed in the universe at this time, only energy and the ancestor to the four forces of nature, the super force. At the end of the stage, however, a key event occurred in which gravity split away from You're the super basically force. basically going to probably tell Next you step by step. Radiation epoch, named for the three remaining unified forces of nature. This epoch ended when one of those forces, called strong or strong nuclear, broke away. Then the inflationary it's epoch strong. began, during which the universe rapidly expanded. Almost instantly, it grew from the size of an atom to the size of a grapefruit. Atom. The universe at this time was piping hot, and it churned with electrons, quarks, and other particles. Electrons. Then came the electroweak epoch, when the last two forces, electromagnetic and weak, finally split off. During the next stage, the quark epoch, all of the universe's ingredients were present. However, the universe was still too hot and dense for subatomic particles to form. Quark. Then, in the hadron epoch, the universe cooled down enough for quarks to bind together and form protons and neutrons. In the lepton and nuclear epochs, the radiation protons era's last two stages, and neutrons, protons XPR. and neutrons are a significant change. They fused and created nuclei. And in doing so, they created the first chemical element in the universe, helium. And helium. The universe's new ability to form elements, the building blocks of matter, cued the matter era. Much as the name suggests, the matter era is defined by the presence and predominance of matter in the universe. It features three epochs that span billions of years, the vast majority of the universe's lifespan, and includes the present day. Stella. The first was the atomic epoch. In this stage, the universe's temperature cooled down enough for electrons to attach to nuclei for the first time. Called recombination, this process helped create the universe's second element, hydrogen. This hydrogen, along with helium atoms, atoms. dotted the universe with atomic clouds. Within the clouds, small pockets of gas may have had enough gravity to cause atoms to collect. These clusters of atoms, formed during the galactic epoch, became the seedlings of galaxies. Nestled inside those galaxies, stars began to form. And in doing so, they cue the latest and current stage of the universe's development, the stellar epoch. The formation of stars then caused a tremendous ripple effect and helped shape the universe as we know it. Ripple Heat effect. The stars caused the conversion of helium and hydrogen into almost all the remaining elements in the universe. In turn, those elements became the building blocks for planets, moons, life, everything we see today. This ecosystem of everything was only possible because of the many stages in the universe. Yeah, the eye turned into the nubilus. While countless questions about the origins of our universe remain, showing you we are the universe. Sought answers to emerge. So again, I'm going to ask you guys, all right? And I'm whatever. I'm not trying to push you to any coins. I'm not trying to tell you what to buy. I'm just saying, and I'm asking you guys, if they say the universe is everything, and they and I showed you the clip before that the universe is us and we're the universe, can the universe be cryptocurrency? Okay. 
Okay. Can it be? Shout out to my new source. All right. So my new source kind of put me on to this. I mean, I had an idea, but he gave me a little bit more better material to put together to make a video. Now, again, I'm just going to ask you. If you if you believe, I'd say, if you believe that the universe is everything, and we're the universe, then you might also believe that the universe can fall into cryptocurrencies. You know, we have ones that call protons and atoms and helium and hydrogen, hydro. We have these coins out there. And again, I'm not one big on going on going through white papers and looking for bank uh, statements and going through all that. I mean, yes, those things are helpful to um, help me conclude on my thoughts. But I'm the type of person that I make my investments on movies, cartoons, and videos. I don't really fuck with charts. I think charts is full of shit. But that's just me. I'm not saying I'm totally right. That's just the way I feel. I feel charts are distractions. So anyway, I don't want to make this too long. And my final question is, if you believe that the universe is everything and we are the universe as well, then you might believe as well that cryptocurrency can be the universe as well. Now, remember how they word some of these things. Big Bang Migration. Big Bang Migration is also coming in. So they use those type of words. All right. Let me see if I can show you. Hold on. This is from the European Central Bank. Big up to XRP Chiz, because I got this off of him. He says, overall key milestones to ensure a successful... Big Bang Migration in November of 2021. Now, you know, whatever the COVID thing, they pushed it back to 2022, right? As you can see, this was issued on July 19th. I mean, July of 2019, July 31st. So, and funny again, right? You got July is 7, plus 3 is 10, and 1 is 11, So you got 11 there when you add up the month and the date. Again, Twin Towers, 11, Big Bang Migration. So, like I said, if you believe that the universe, and I'm repeating myself again because I want you to get this in your head. I want you to have a thought. If you believe that the universe is everything, as the lady says, that's not my words. That's the National Geographic words, right, for the Big Bang Theory, that universe is everything. Then if we're having a big bang migration coming up, I mean, yeah, you guys want to say, oh, but it's only the ISO 222 coins. That's fine. And then go do what you got to do accordingly to what you believe in. I'm just pointing something out. Like I said, if you believe in the universe, you believe that you are the universe, then you might just believe that the universe is also crypto. And that's really about it. So thank you for liking, watching, subscribing. Shout out to my source. Thank you for the material. Love you guys. And I'm out of here.